here and welcome to my channel Thriving Lively. I am Tiffany and today I was just going to go over some of the starches that you can eat on the starch solution and I was going to talk about calorie density in those starches. I am doing the starch solution uh, maximum weight loss by Dr. McDougall and the maximum weight loss program really focuses on whole foods, not processed starches, so you know, no breads or tortillas or anything like that. So just mainly just, you know, grains and starchy vegetables. And the calorie density in those can vary quite a bit per like weight of the you know vegetable or starch that you're eating. And so it has kind of been studied that we eat the same weight amount per day so if I eat, you know, five pounds per day, I'm going to eat about five pounds tomorrow and the next day and the next day. And I eat a lot of food. And so it really matters for me when I'm trying to lose weight, what starch I'm eating. Because if I eat, you know, five pounds of one starch, the calories would be way higher than if I was going to, if I was going to be eating a different starch. And I will explain that. So I have a little cheat sheet that I'm going to be looking down on because I cannot remember all of this stuff. So I'm going to start off with the beans and I'm going off of 400 grams. And the only reason I'm doing 400 grams is because for me, when I'm eating sweet potatoes, I tend to cut them up into about 400 grams and that's about 400 calories. Um, that's the only reason why I picked 400 grams, but now I can just show you what 400 grams looks like for certain things and then how many calories are in that. So 400 grams of black beans and there is 560 calories in this. This is a huge amount of black beans and I wouldn't want to eat this. My husband wouldn't want me to eat this and so I just, but it's a lot. They're really good for you. So you're not gonna be hungry for a long time if you do eat all of these and I think that you wouldn't end up gaining weight if you did because they have resistant starches in them and so your body won't absorb all of that but I am not a you know biologist or whatever at all so I don't know I just won't eat this many but that being said I can add this to something that's lower calorie density and get very full and have you know get some of the same nutrients that I need from black beans. Um, if you listen to, you know, Dr. Furman or Dr. Greger or Dr. McDougall, they all recommend eating some kind of legume because they are so good for you health-wise. And so you might not eat 400 grams, but you should eat some every day. Um, the next thing that I'm going to go over is oats. So this is still cut oats. And this is 400 grams and this is a little bit more than what I eat every day. I usually eat about a cup of these just in my meals um, and I add you know fruit and stuff to it but this is about 345 calories so a cup, you know a little bit less than this um, about a little over 100 calories really good really filling I you know I love oats and then just like a potato. So I have two kinds here. This one's soft. Anyway, so <laughs> unmade. This is 400 grams of potatoes. Um, I usually probably eat a little bit more than this per serving, but this is just, you know, weight wise. And this is about 308 calories. And I'm getting all of the calorie information off of chron chronometer. So I got oats on my hands. Um, so much less than the beans and even less than the oats. Everyone loves good potato. And sweet potato, this is 400 grams of a sweet potato. And this is more, has more calories, more calorie dense than a normal potato, which this is 344 calories. But I, I think comparatively, they're about the same. This has like one gram more of protein. I remember seeing that on a YouTube video. I did not check that out myself. So verify on your own, but that's probably why it's a little bit more. And then 
for the Yukon Gold. I really love these for just like roasting. These ones, I think, are the exact same um, calories as these ones, but they like weigh a little bit different for like volume wise. So I have a couple turnips in here. And so this is like a little bit less than 400 grams, but turnips are very calorie uh, dilute. And so this is about 121 calories. And so, so if you can imagine eating 400 grams of turnips or 400 grams of potatoes, you're going to be eating a lot less calories. And so sometimes when I am making like mashed potatoes, I will throw in some turnips just to dilute some of the calories. So what I'm eating is a little bit less. And then parsnips, I don't have 400 grams to show you because I, like I said, I roasted a bunch of vegetables and I forgot to measure out what I needed. These ones have been sitting out too, so they're a little sad to see. Um, but so one more of these about this size would be 400 grams. And if I had 400 grams of them, it would be about 300 calories. So like right around the same as a potato. Um, volume wise, I think it ends up being the same. I like to roast these with other vegetables. I think they're really delicious. They're a little bit different. I don't, as a child, I don't think I ever ate them. And they're just something new that I've added to my diet. And then rice. This is 400 grams of rice and it is 520 calories. So quite a bit more than all the other ones. Um, I have to really watch how much rice I eat because I can eat a lot of rice without feeling full. I love sushi. <laughs> so this is something that I have to watch when I'm trying to lose weight. And so I think just having that knowledge really helps when you are trying to get to a goal. Okay, and then this is 400 grams of butternut squash, and it is 160 calories. So kind of along the same lines as the turnips, very low in calorie density. Adding this to say some rice as a starch for your meal will lessen your calories drastically. And just, you'll be able to still have the rice and you'll, you know, having, still be having something very yummy and filling and you're going to be eating the same amount of like weight and you will lose weight as well because your calories will be drastically cut and then carrots i like to roast these as well i when i used to eat meat we would like cut up potatoes and carrots and onion and then put that at the bottom put a roast on top and then now I just do the vegetables because that's what I like to eat anyway when I would eat that or make that. I would mostly just eat potatoes. So I do that. These for 400 grams, it is 148 calories. So same, you know, kind of thing with the, a lot of the other like rooted vegetables. Very low calorie density. Also really good. And if you eat a lot, you get an orange tan. My sister used to drink orange juice or orange juice carriages all the time she had had cancer and so she was trying to rebuild her immune system and drink carrot juice every day and her and her daughter would <laughs> just like a little orange glow and then I have a rutabaga in here same thing this is about 250 um, grams but if I had another like one and a half of these or if I you know cut off the ends and peeled it, it would be about 200 so if I had two of these it would be about 148 so it's very similar to the parsnip or the carrots calorie wise so just playing around with some of your starches and diluting a little bit of them because you know beans oats and rice are very calorie dense potatoes can be a little bit more calorie dense not a lot but just you know, as you're eating and when you're trying to lose weight, especially those last 10 to 5 pounds, it's going to be really important to kind of just like tweak things a little bit. And you may not think it's that important. I don't, I don't like to count calories. I just kind of like to know around about what I'm eating, especially if you are, you know, really trying to lose a little bit of weight. So 
it's easy to get discouraged and just having this knowledge will really help you in being able to pick what you're going to eat and so i hope this information was helpful please give it a like if you thought it was subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys later